As the diocesan bishop, I take a particular interest in curates. So the chance to get people involved in a program like Thy Kingdom Come was just too good to miss. So I said to my colleagues, look, why don't we invite all the curates to participate in this program? Our amazing principal of our School of Mission decided that they would change the curates training program. And instead of a residential weekend, every curate would be involved for the, for the Pentecost weekend, specifically to enable prayer to happen right across their own deaneries. And prayer happened in churches, outside churches, and there was prayer going on round the clock for 10 days. The results were beyond all expectation. As part of the uh, Thy Kingdom Come uh, initiative in the second year after the success of the first one, uh, I'm involved in a community choir that meets in our kitchen um, where we have over, uh, over 40 people regularly attending now. Um, a good third of them are not regular churchgoers uh, and we're involved in the mission of the church. I think the impact of the choir being set up uh, first is it makes the church accessible to people uh, who wouldn't necessarily uh, want to go in from the very beginning. Um, we've got a number of stories of individuals coming to their own personal relationship with Jesus as a result of being part of that community. We had a thing called Brewer Prayer where we had tea and cake in a lovely little country church in the middle of a field. We had prayer stations all the way around the outside and it was half term. So we invited the kids in um, and then they could eat masses of cake whilst going around these prayer stations and that proved to be very popular. One wonderful outcome is building community. It helped people to know what we were about and that we want to pray and that we want to talk about God's kingdom coming and renewing uh, what, all that we do here and now. One of the events that we were involved in in Romsey was a prayer event called Say One For Me. So the idea was that we would offer to say one, to pray for those people that uh, had prayer requests in the town. So on the streets we simply uh, asked people uh, what could we pray for them and then we would go back to the abbey and offer those prayers during a prayer service. It became apparent that other churches in the town wanted to be part of this which was really exciting. Um, they caught the vision. The surprising benefit of this is that it's really brought the churches together. It's been an amazing focus for us to gather around something which we all know is very important in terms of our mission uh, and life in the town. As part of Thy Kingdom Come we run two school CUs. We went in and just encouraged the young people to think about the people in their lives that they would want to come to know Jesus. I think the impact of Thy Kingdom Come is that people, instead of worrying about praying for the whole of the school or actually focusing in on individual relationships and relationships that they can affect by praying for people and spending time with and talking to these people, not necessarily about Jesus directly, but in building relationships. You just watch curates gain confidence, you know, not only because they're ministering in their own church, but because they've learnt how to form really good uh, life-giving relationships across the churches. I I've watched, um, I think, every curate that's been involved, I've seen growing confidence. Um, and, and that's what we're about, aren't we? We want clergy who know who God is, who know and love the people of God, but have an inner confidence of God's calling and of what, what it is they've got to share. I'm unreservedly positive about both, about the 10 days about the Beacon Prayer event and about the mission activity that comes out from it. And I think as we're on the road together, bishops and curates, we're going to rediscover something of the essence of what it is to be a church that shares the faith of Jesus Christ in this world. I would recommend every bishop who has responsibility for curates to invite them to enter into this, um, this whole way of understanding uh, the culmination of Jesus' ministry and his invitation to his disciples to get involved and be part of his mission.